Um, yeah, hello, my name's Cara Roberts. Um, I am a dietitian and a registered nutritionist, and my full-time job is as a lecturer at Solon University, um, where I lecture on nutrition-based degrees. Uh, well, I, um, I've always been quite sporty, uh, so I, I raced BMX when I was younger quite competitively. Um, and then my sport and how I met my husband actually um, over here was um, touch rugby. So I played contact rugby for a little bit and then I played um, touch rugby and I do up until COVID and pregnancy kicked in. Um, I did uh, play to um, international standards. So I was part of the England mixed 30 squad. Um, yeah, so I guess that's a big part of my life, or at least was. <laughs> yeah, so um, I grew up in, a, in Australia, so I was there until I was, um, just before I was 18 actually. But yeah, um, growing up in Australia, kind of quite classically Australian, I think, like lots about being outdoors, um, you know, beach, uh, hanging out with my cousins, lots of barbecues, um, and again, BMX, so... I'm 30 weeks, so I haven't done maths on what that works out at. Um, through uh, probably about what's that, six and a half months, nine, seven months. I think with COVID, I guess if you're already maybe a little bit prone to feeling isolated, it can it can sort of heighten that. Um, and particularly, yeah, because I'm so used to sort of seeing friends and giving them a big hug, and both when I see them and then when I leave, you know, that's kind of how I'd always finish like a nice catch up with a friend is a big hug. Um, and it just feels really, uh, yeah, a little bit sort of disconnected, a bit false, a bit wrong to like see friends now and then not hug them. Um, and I guess so. And then, then when, so when you get pregnant and you've got like happy news and then you tell people they can be excited for you and, but they kind of have to go, yay. And then they can't hug you, which is sort of, um, it doesn't ruin it, you know, it, it but it, there is definitely, yeah, that kind of subtle shift of, it's not the same. You can't celebrate in the same way and you can't necessarily get excited in the same way because there's so much kind of unknowns for all of us about what the kind of future landscape is going to look like, um, you know, in, in, on, in all sorts of aspects of life, um, pregnancy included. Me being the father of our, of our future child, like watching Cara sort of like grow and also how kind of like effortlessly she's done that on the outside anyway um i know it's like very tough for her like physically but also like yeah being so far away from home like exacerbated by global transportation networks just shutting down and um no longer being so that's one thing it's like i do it really admire her as a as a human being um in uh, in how she's quite about things yeah the main thing for me is having this family in australia um the plan was always that my mum was going to come over and be here uh and obviously with with covid and the situation she she won't be able to be here um and that's something yeah that's been a bit uh, again that was sort of part of the reason why early on i struggled and um I think it'll be harder once the baby's here, like I've kind of come to terms with it now, but I think when you just have those days where you just want to be able to have like a cup of tea with your mum, uh, and I can't, that, that would be harder, yeah. There's nothing that worries me per se, but um, there are times when I catch myself thinking, God, like, you know, the cinema and the bowling alley, like none of us go to that anymore. And if COVID carries on, they might just all shut down. And isn't it nuts to think I could have a kid that will grow up not going to the cinema or the bowling alley like stuff like that every now and then kind of catches me and i think god yeah wow um so i think it was always going to be a different generation anyway but i think for covid yeah who knows i remember saying to will probably a little while ago now but it kind of annoyed me that the media like i think it was a radio presenter said something like oh yeah you know another like downside to, to COVID and I was like it kind of annoys me that that language gets used because actually there can be positives drawn from it and I, I'm not like skirting over the fact that you know people dying is definitely not a positive and obviously that's horrendous. I'd like to think there would be positives about people um, appreciating time with family. I think definitely that's one thing that certainly I, I, I've, I've always obviously valued time with family particularly because having family in Australia time, that time is always so precious but 
I think hopefully for a lot of people that gets amplified with COVID that we've had this enforced kind of distance um, so that when we can see each other freely, we, we do really value that time. Um, yeah, I'd hope that'd be a positive. I think that the rate of change, the rate at which things can change in our world um, will be something that my, our child will have to deal with, like when they're older, I think. As they grow and develop, it's going to be quite interesting. So if we can't go around hugging everyone, which is like what we did before COVID, like, what are they going to do? Um, do we have to have, like, mannequins so that we show them hugging without um, breaking the law? Just to make sure, you know, this is a hug. Just, um, but Cara and I will be hugging, so that'll be fine. Cara and I walked to, to the rugby pitch and we were throwing the rugby ball across the main road, just like, just walking in the middle of the road. And it was just, it was so cool. Everything was so quiet. Um, and it was a time I think that people sort of kind of realized what they'd been missing out on um, by living their lives the way they are. Um, and so I really hope like people or the world slows down a little bit. Things can move so fast that you kind of really got to focus on um, not tomorrow, but now. Like tomorrow is now is yesterday, you know. Like so, yes, you can make make plans for the future, but um, focusing on yeah the present and what you can do to um, progress and to make the world a better place. Um, focus on today, really. God, that's garbled, doesn't it?